Duke. Duke, we have the four elemental spirits. Their power can counter the Autophagos. There's no need to use people to destroy the Autophagos. Look at its size. Four spirits are nothing against it. They're crucial. We'll make up the rest by turning the Blastia cores to spirits, too. Every single core in the world! And as a bonus, it'll put an end to the Blastia culture that you hate so much. Not too shabby, huh? I doubt humans will hand over their Blastia quietly. Or will you force them? Can you not believe that people can move forward and change? Humans will not let something go once it is in their grasp. So you won't listen. We will destroy the Autophagos our own way. Please, wait just a little longer. And will the world return to its former state? Huh? Will the air be controlled by the Entelikea? Will all life return to a time when nature ruled? No. You are changing this world, our Terka Lumeres. For what? For the convenience of humans. Nothing more. Can't you think that the world might be growing? I think of the Entelikea becoming spirits as evolution. Can't you see that? I would not presume to speak on the choices of the Entelikea. However, I also have my choices. So you won't listen to us because we're humans? You say you can't trust people, so you just drop everything. Then when it's too late, you try to wipe them out? Do you know what this tower is? Tarkaron was once a city, but the ancients turned it into a weapon to destroy the Antilochea. <sighs> to the ancients who did not recognize the threat of the Blastia, the Antilochea who attacked the Blastia were nothing more than a nuisance. And the air went out of balance, and the Autophagos appeared. Only then did humans listen to the words of the Entelikea. Our world has seen many sacrifices, yet humans committed the same offense, and they will again. Those who eat away and ruin this world, those who would change the world for their own continued existence, they are apostles of destruction greater than even the Atafagos. I made a vow to my friend that I would protect this world. A Lucifer. So Chroma told you. Yeah, she also told us to stop you. She listened to us too, and became a spirit. So please, we can do this together. Enough. If the Entelikea would throw away their mission, then I will take it up. I need not wait for your method. Once I complete this formula, the world will be saved. Duke, stop! As long as humans rule, they will commit the same offense time and again. If that happens, their hearts will grow wild and the future will be even more painful. Even if that happens, it's the path we choose. Even if we are hurt or stopped, we can still walk again as long as we don't give up. She's right. You'll never find anything new if you're afraid of making mistakes, of failing. And unlike you, we haven't chosen this path on our own. Everyone decided on it. Yeah, going it alone might be tough, but we're not alone. If one person can't do it, then we do it together. I finally learned that we can walk together like that. That may be sufficient for those who are connected to one another. However, there will always be some who cannot accept a difficult future. You all surely understand that. It will be difficult, but that is reality. They will take what changes, think, and change again. Both the people and the world. So even if it takes tens, hundreds of years, they will listen someday. I know this now. That's what it means to live. Right. There are things you have to protect. But this old man wants to see what lies ahead for people in the next era. See how the fools change. For those who can't see them anymore. We are in contradiction. However, our feelings for the world are no different. How odd. No, it's not. The future we chose, what we see for the future, is different. The future must be protected. If it is not, then destruction awaits. 
We make the future. You trust the path you choose and create it. It is inevitable. Come. We're gonna kill the Autofaga, so stay out of the way. This isn't a path we chose alone. I have no reason to go along with your plan. Could you be any more stubborn? Why won't you listen? We made this choice so humans and Entelikea could move on together. The Entelikea will regret that decision. And humans will wish they had died. I don't think anybody's gonna think that. Trust me. I won't regret it, no matter what you say. Our resolve runs deeper than that. Such a foolish conclusion. There is no longer any point in talking. That's too bad. If you would just listen. No more. And crush my enemies to nothing. Savage Wolf Fury! Now I know what Pharaoh saw in you. You're pretty strong yourself. How unfortunate. I wish I could walk together with you all a while longer. Perhaps we would have had a different encounter. It's not too late. It is. My path was set when the Artifagos covered the sky. You stubborn bastard! The best path for an enduring world is to return it to its natural state. That is the path I chose. I will die for that. My friend, give me your strength! This is the Spiral Dracon. 
The Fell Arms are reacting to Dane Nomos. And what's that light surrounding Duke? Dane Nomos and the tower are combining to restore the power of the Fell Arms. But how? <laughs> 